something that came back about 60 years later on, isn't that right? In it? Yes, that's right. Uh, it was a few years ago I got a telephone call from the German ambassador to Israel and he uh, told me that the president of Germany and the German government had decided to award me these sort of called Verdienstkreuz, that's the, 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 actually the highest uh, distinction that they, 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 they can award to someone. And he asked me whether I would be prepared to accept that. So I asked him, first of all, tell me uh, why the German authorities think that I deserve that, why the president thinks so. And then he said that what you did in the Eichmann trial and your cooperation with German uh, prosecutors in connection with other trials against Nazi uh, uh, prisoners and uh, accused uh, people in the, under the Nazi regime, together with a certain openness as far as the new generation of jurists is concerned and the judges and the prosecutors, all that together uh, for, for, to their mind justified that. Uh, so I agreed and then there was a, a ceremony at the uh, place of the German uh, ambassador and uh, the, lots of people invited. And then when I had to make a speech, I couldn't refrain but to, to tell that story of how I was kicked out of Germany. And I said, as, somehow, as, I, as I think I didn't deserve that then, I have certain doubts whether I deserve that distinction now. But anyway, I was grateful for the gesture that, that was done. Uh, your, how long did your family stay in Holland? In Holland, uh, we just stayed for a, a, one year and three quarters. And was the plan always to leave as quickly as possible to come to Palestine? Well, no, I don't know whether quickly as possible because my father had also some 